Thanks for joining us for this quick overview of Windy, a very powerful and popular tool for aviation weather analysis. We'll follow the sequence of this primer on Windy available in the description below. We open Windy and by default are shown current surface winds. We simply slide the altitude to 5,000 feet and then check 10,000 feet. We request numerics for these winds on the map and slide the timeline forward a couple days. Let's look at forecasts for precipitation on Monday. A little wet in the northwest. We can check both imperial and metric units. We've been looking at forecasts from the European model. We can change to the GFS model from NOAA and see much the same in the Northwest. Maybe a little wet, but any outlook for thunderstorms? Not in the Northwest, but much more likely in New Mexico and Sonora. On the timeline, we see Monday afternoon should worsen. As expected, things should dissipate overnight and start up again midday Tuesday. Let's take a look at clouds, specifically cloud bases, and return our focus to Southern California. We see lingering marine layers off SoCal. We create a free account in order to store a few settings for future use in Windy. The recommended settings are detailed in the document linked to in the description below and include lots of cool date items including, importantly, ISO lines of freezing level. Which here, on a warm SoCal day, are up in the high teens. And in the Cascades, down to 3,000 feet. Let's look at more detail on precipitation. For example, rain accumulation over the next few days. And maybe even snow on the horizon for the Canadian Rockies and Idaho. Back to the Pacific Northwest. How about uh, cloud tops? We could get above some tops in Southern Oregon. And we might find some fun shooting approaches through the fog into the San Juan Islands. Our friend Windy also provides convenient tools for right now actual weather. For example, radar traces of precipitation. and satellite imaging enhanced with infrared. Here, showing cold and thereby high buildups over Montana. Once again, let's go back to the rain this week 
over Western Oregon and Washington. And in particular, let's examine the Portland details over time. Selecting the cool mediagram option, we get a bunch of details. Indeed, a graphical summary of up to 10 days worth of Tafts, the Moss, and more. We'll wrap up this overview with a couple point based tools. The movable eyedropper, here showing surface winds coming on shore by Monterey. And the sounding display of dew point and temperature hinting at possible layers as we climb in altitude. I'm not in any way affiliated with Windy. I simply find it an awesome tool for my mid to short range weather planning. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe below and click the bell for notifications. Thanks and fly safely.